Hello YouTube, welcome back to another game of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. This is going to be game number 2 of the DreamHack Leipzig uh, Best of 5. This is currently the round of 32 and we're going to have Sort of versus Liquid Mana. Now teams are switched around so let's do that. Now our first player here is Sort of, he is on the bottom right hand side corner and he is playing the Blue Zerg. Now his opponent is going to be Liquid Mana spawning as the, the red Protoss on the top left hand side. So let's quickly give a bit of details. Liquid Mana, he's representing both Team Liquid as the name suggests and he is from Poland. And sort of is from Team Property and he is representing Sweden. So this is not Nation Wars like in the previous game, or previous games rather. This is a whole new tournament from the Dreamhack. It's the very first one, there's obviously going to be a few more of them and then there's going to be also Grand Finals so it's a big long long tournament and I am super excited to start getting into that as well. Let's just look at the buildings that we have here. Looks like Mana deciding to go for the Nexus first and actually the, the Hatchery first for sort of as well. Now our question of the series, by the way I mentioned this in the first game, is if you could buff one unit, which unit would that be? It's a StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void obviously question so it has to be in this expansion and if you want to explain why you need, it needs a buff, let me know and of course if you want to give specifics, so let's say how much damage you'd give it, then of course let me know. Looking for cool, realistic and maybe even creative answers, anything you want to suggest. And um, let's see how this one plays out. Now the score is about to be brought up, so the, the link in the description will bring you to the first game if you haven't seen it, because spoilers are now coming. So we're currently at 1-0 in, f in favor of sort of. And the first game was actually quite a nice one as well. There was a big turnaround halfway through the game where Liquid Mana made a bit of a mistake and uh, yeah, it, it went the other way. So Cybernetic Core coming down here. By the way, this is after a second gateway. So two gateways into a Cybernetic Core. And everything is fine so far. I am happy to announce that the lag on my stream has apparently been fixed. So I'm currently streaming at 720p and 60fps. I might bump it up to 1080p if people want it, but at the moment I will keep it there because um, just to prevent any sort of uh, incompatibility, let's just say, with other players. So this probe is absolutely toast. Is it going to get toast? Yes, it is. So one free probe here for sort of. And what is he pumping out here? It looks like he's pumping out one adept and one stalker. Now this is a bit of annoying. Uh, in the U interface at the moment. It doesn't show a little icon here like in my previous videos of what units are being built. Unfortunately, it's it's something I've tried hard, really hard to fix. It just won't work no matter what I do. So hoping that Blizzard's gonna make some sort of small patch in the near future so I can get back to my old interface that's fully, absolutely 100% working. Now I wonder really why he decided to bring out the Stalker. It's kind of a strange investment considering the usual unit you'd get out is two adepts because they're just so so strong right now okay looks like we have a third base coming out from sort of as well and it doesn't look like he's taken up anything yet now he's only got one worker on the gas which hints the fact that he's not really planning on building anything else at the moment. Once we see more workers being transferred to that, of course, we're going to expect to see roaches and potentially some uh, uh, ravagers with that. Okay, so Lair has been brought up. Now, with the Lair, he's also brought two extra workers onto that gas. So that could potentially mean that he's going to be doing a little bit of a, a tech shift. This one probe getting picked off. Now he was probably thinking about getting an expansion here with that probe but he brought it out a little bit too early and of course undefended as well. And whoever's on the stream as well, hello. I can't really talk too much because I'm recording for YouTube but welcome. I will be responding to things in between in between casts. So by the way, just a quick note for YouTube viewers since you're probably going to see this a few days later. I have decided to start streaming I'm not really looking for donations on a stream. If you want to subscribe using that $5.99 thing or whatever it is, you're welcome to, but I, I'm not really looking for donations simply because I don't know how much I'm going to commit to this. Um, but my Twitch link is going to be on my main channel page, so of course you're welcome to follow me on that. 
and that would be pretty damn awesome if I can get a bit of an audience there. Of course, you can interact with me in the actual stream itself, and that'll be beneficial to us all. Okay, so as you can see here, it does look like level one. Oh, double Stargate just about to catch that over here. Double Stargate coming out here for mana. Very, very nice. Perfect timing. And this changeling, he sees everything. I mean, he's like, yo, what's up? I'm totally a, star a zealot, which, you know, mana didn't actually build a zealot, so I'm surprised he didn't spot this yet. But this zealot is like, <laughs> sorry, this changeling is like, yeah, I I'm just patrolling, minding my own business, don't mind me. I wonder what he's going to do. Double starport, uh, Stargate, kind of suggests that he might get himself uh, phoenixes out of that. That tends to be the, the common thing. So phoenixes, just to basically, maybe just snipe overlords or maybe even kill drones. That's going to be the question, really. But of course, we'll come across that in the near future. Yeah, actually, look at that. Phoenixes are on the way. So double phoenixes in production. And he also has a robotics facility as well. Actually putting that... Somewhere inside his base. Where is it? There it is. So this one's only a hallucination. Kind of gives him a bit of a... A bit of a preview of what's coming. Because there actually is Phoenixes on the way. Now, Spire has been put down. Probably not the best option versus... Oh, okay. Never mind. Cancel that. I wonder what he saw that, he, that made him cancel that. So let's have a quick look. Did he see these? Oh, he saw both of them. So yeah, that's probably why. Phoenixes just straight up counter... Mutalists, so definitely wouldn't be a good idea to have that continuing. This changing got gets spotted pretty much straight away, and there goes the overseer as well. That actually supply blocked him for just a moment. Nothing too major. So that's fine. Okay, spore crawlers are now being produced as well. So obviously he is aware of the, the phoenixes. He's very scared of them. And he doesn't want to lose too many units inside of his mineral line. Now, despite the fact that there is a spore crawler here, it doesn't fully defend your mineral line. I mean, you're, you can still pick off the, the workers off the, of the gas fairly safely. If you come in here and quickly snipe off one or two drones, also very safe. You just have to not obviously stay in there for too long. But that's, that's of course, like that all the time when you have static defenses. Fort base coming up for mana, so at this point, I suppose that sort of will probably want to start thinking of expanding himself. I say this pretty much every Zerg versus anything game. The Zerg always wants to be one game ahead of his opponent. It is very, very important to have that extra production capability. Oh, Zerg manages to sneak in there, but gets taken out. Oh, actually, never mind. He ma it looks like he dropped a few in there as well, or he just managed to run in with them, so. Didn't actually spot that, and there we go, the phoenixes are around here as well. Let's see how the units lost. Looks like five drones. It's a lot harder to keep tabs on things with um, without the, the notification popping up here. So a few units getting caught out here with the force fields. That's actually quite a nice win here for mana. Just notice the fact that uh, the army supply is heavily favoring sort of here, so mana's going to really want to pump out units right now. Nidus... Canal getting taken out as well. Just a few units managing to sneak out of it. But this army supply, absolutely humongous. I think that this is so heavily favoring sort of right now. If Mana does not get a few of his more units out, he would be absolutely toast right here, right now. Force fields going down. Nice pickups here with the Phoenixes. Every unit that he can snipe off right now is absolutely crucial. Now the Nidus Canal has now been opened up inside the main base. Let's see how that one progresses out and he is deciding to, to snipe out production buildings which it, I suppose is actually just as good as sniping out a nexus because that means that mana will not be able to reinforce anything oh I think he's gonna bring these straight into the main base oh this is huge this temper archives is gonna get taken out pretty much straight away it's only been off for a few seconds the nexus is probably gonna get sniped off as well despite the fact that there's not much mining going on here but there we go, all of these buildings just getting underpowered right now. This is huge. And another Nidus Canal being brought outside the base actually. So this is just so he can escape basically. So the full base has now been completely cleaned up. And there we go, the GG has been called. So Mana calling the GG on this one. Sort of taking game number 2 and that actually brings him up to 2 against 0. In favor of our Zerg player.
And that is it for game number two between Mana and Sort of. We're gonna move straight on to game number three. We'll see how Mana responds. Now he needs to win this in order to not make this a three for zero win for Sort of. So let's see how that progresses out. Hope you've enjoyed us. Of course, leave a thumbs up and a subscribe, of course, if you want to see more. And our question of the series as well, just to mention that before I forget, if you could buff one unit in StarCraft 2, what would it be? Let me know in the comments below.